But first to Leicester, where Council Housing Officer Steve has been called to investigate a mysterious arson attack. Apparently the previous tenants uh, have had a petrol bomb inside. The petrol bomb has gutted the flat. Uh, there's a lot of fire damage in the hallway. It's looking like quite a bad one. But what was going on here before? Perhaps the fire has destroyed vital evidence. This is the living room, full of ex tenants' belongings that we'll need to clear out. The plaster on the ceilings is all coming away. The electrics are burnt. Just everything's going to need to be stripped back to the bare bones and start again. Fortunately, it seems no one was hurt. I don't think there was any, any injuries or anything like that, so yeah, I'd have thought the property was empty at the time. Yeah, more smoke damage in the kitchen. It's still full of the extendant's belongings, so we'll need to get those cleared out first. It's completely black in there. You, you can't really see a lot at all, really. As you can see, these cupboards here should be white, so that's how bad the smoke damage is. Despite the fire, the basic structure of the flat remains intact. To specify what works that ought to be done, it's, it's going to take me a long time, so the, what I need first is to get everything cleared out of the property all the burnt furniture, get it cleaned down best they can so that it's OK for somebody to start working in here. Jobs like this, what we class them as fire jobs, they do take a little bit longer, so we have a bit more time to do them just because of the logistics of everything that needs to be done. This is going to take a lot of work. Time to call in the extreme cleaning experts, Kevin and Graham. How you doing? Hi, there you All go. Right. We've got one bedroom flat today. Yeah. Um, it's had a quite an extensive fire. Clear it out and then give it the best clean you can. Um, it's going to be difficult with the smoke and definitely suit up. All right? Yeah, well done. Cheers. All right, see you later. Kevin says no problem, but they haven't seen the flat yet. It's going to be a long one. Back at the petrol bombed flat in Leicester, Kevin and Graham are about to discover what they've let themselves in for. You've got to be careful and all to look around for needles and all in this. It's going to be a nightmare trying to trying to look around for them. Completely everything will end up down the tip. That's salvageable. <laughs> you look stunning. There's names for people like you. <laughs> but the malarkey soon has to stop. They've got to get down to serious business. Get these windows out. And a man from the council arrives to help out. Just taking all the screens off now so we can get access to chuck all the stuff out the window. On a job like this, you always have to assume the worst. And often, that's drugs. Sure. There you go, you got grinder grey. Yeah, grinding the old weed up, in it. Yeah, don't look like weed, I don't know, though. Oh, look, drugs. You found some drugs? Yeah, somebody's been on uh, needles. That's a water, water bottle that they use to clean the needles or something. There's some tablets here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've just got to be careful. I'll put these aside somewhere to dispose of them properly later on. Oh, hey, upgrade. What's that, mate? Be careful, mate. Oh, you found some needles? Yeah. Yeah. Quite a few. A few needles. Yeah, there's a lot of used ones in there, Kev, look. One lesson's been learnt, dispose of dirty needles. At least they've had the decency to actually use these boxes like... Yeah, there's plenty in there and all as well, isn't there? I want to get his hand with this, Kev. It's not the grime the grime fighters really like, it's the fighting. Every this is, isn't it, kid? What one call you a kid for? I don't know. Dad, I ain't gonna go. Without the banter, it's hard to see how this work could get done. Come on, Barry. Ooh. Barry, chuckle. Twist it. Leave it there. Yeah, OK. It is. Right. Come on, then. Kevin and Graham are now in a better mood. But to be really happy, you've got to do something outrageous. Kev, I'm going to be a rock star, mate. I've always wanted to do this. Throw a telly out the window. Back in Leicester, Kevin and Graham are tackling what, for them, is the worst part of the job. This is the bit I hate, touching these bed sheets. Oh, oh I don't let the bed bugs bother. No, it's grim. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit like a dick witty, so. So I smoke along. 
<laughs> I didn't think it was working at the time. Fight down, we smoked yeah. along. He still works. Ah. <laughs> Where's your cut? <laughs> Come on, heave. Kevin's doing his bit, but what about Graham? I've realised why it's so heavy. What? Because you ain't doing no more. <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> tell me how to figure yeah. handles on this then. Yeah. Did you? Beautiful. Yeah, oh, great. Teamwork is about working at the same pace. But has anyone told Graham? What are you doing in there? What? What are you doing? I'm sorting it out. Ah, sorting out the van. Quite right. More space, you see. Ah. You'll learn one day, Kev, honestly. Yeah. You'll, you'll get there. The previous tenant has left many personal possessions. They reveal the story of lives falling apart. One discovery looks like a CV which didn't impress. Clean our dusting, polishing, toilets, uh, worked at McDonald's as well. The evidence becomes even more heartbreaking. It's about self farmers and drug use. Oh, is it? Mm. It sounds like she's been to try and get some help in that. But it's probably a nice, pretty young girl as well. Just shows what that stuff can do to people. But however good they are, grime fighters are not social workers. Two weeks later. Especially. So why did you give up carpet fitting then, Graham? Because I'm an apprentice like you and you kept getting on your nerves. In this business, necessity is the mother of invention. Carpets can become skips. Roll up, roll up. And the work shouldn't get you down. One day, son, this will all be yours. <laughs> what will you do when I retire then, Kev? Pardon? What will you do when I retire? Sign on. <laughs> get yourself flat. <laughs> Why is it you always end up at the back and I end up pulling it all? Because you're the front man. Come on, you're my ring man, are you? <laughs> Being seen to get the job done is almost as important as getting the job done. <laughs> I ain't got the energy yet. <laughs> and in just a few short hours, a transformation has taken place. Look at that, job well done. Well chuffed with that. Well done. Call it a day. Okay, mate. Yeah. Sir, right. thank Quite you. Then. Let's go.